Welcome everyone, it's me Clash Spray here, and have you ever accidentally deleted a file that was very important to you and now you think it's gone forever? Well you don't have to worry anymore, because today I'm going to show you how to recover deleted files for free. So first of all you need to go to this website that I link in the description where you download the file recovery software Recuva that I'm going to show in this video. And when you get to this page you press download free version and your download should start automatically. And when you install and launch the program you'll see this wizard that will help you scan for your lost files. So just press next, decide if you want to scan for all files which is usually the best thing to do or if you want to you can just look for a specific file instead. And then press next again and decide where the program should look for our files. Again, it's usually the best thing to let it search for your entire computer. So finally, you just have to decide whether or not you want to enable deep scan, which will thoroughly scan your computer for about an hour or more. But in my experience, this won't be necessary since you'll usually find your files without enabling this feature, in most cases at least. But if you haven't found your files by doing the fast scan, then doing a deep scan will help you find those files. And then when you're done with all of that, you just have to press start to begin the scanning process. So when your scanning is completed, all of the files the program found will be displayed in a long list right here. And in here you can sort your files by name, file path, the date it was lastly modified, the size of the file and so on, so that you can find the file you're looking for more conveniently. And then when you found the file you want to recover, you check the box in the front of the file and press the recover button in the right hand corner down here. But keep in mind that all files are not recoverable since they might have been overwritten by other files and in that case there will be a red dot in front of the file name. And if there is a yellow dot instead that means that the file might be recoverable if you are lucky but it will most likely be corrupt and can't be restored to its original state. But if the file is green, then you'll be able to recover it without any issues at all. So that's all you need to know about recovering deleted files with Kuva on PC. And by the way, if you're using a Mac, there is a link in the description to another software that does this too, on Macs. And if you have any problems or concerns with this program, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll reply to you as fast as I can. So I hope you'll enjoy this video, I'm Clash Free, and I'll see you in the next one.